goes quick and squeeze that lit. I'm a super ghost trick and listen to the beat. I'm a super ghost quick and squeeze that lit. I'm a super ghost trick and I'm a super ghost quick and squeeze that lit. I'm a super ghost trick. All right, so the actual original name for this is uh, Ring Igniter, okay? But I'm calling this one uh, the Married Man <laughs> because I think it's uh, one of the coolest ways to let a person know that you're married. Let's say you are getting hit on by someone, whether they're good looking or not, and you are married and you are faithful. And you happen to be, say, lighting a cigarette or something, or perhaps your pipe. And you say, sorry, and you flick it open, and you're all doing it with your ring finger, so if you happen to be married and you're wearing your ring, like you're supposed to, it's kind of a cool way to show them you're married. So that may be lame to you, but I thought it was pretty funny. So anyway, uh, as you saw there, I am a lot more fluent doing this with my left hand, which is the only trick, both in Zippos or knives, that I can do a lot better with my left hand than I can do the right. But I'm going to show you how to do it with the right, because most of you are righty. All right, so it may seem very simple, but at this point, before I, you watch any more of this video, go ahead and try it. You'll find out that it, it's not as simple as you think. I mean, some people are just natural at this, this type of stuff, but... You know, for most of you, you're gonna go, I don't, I don't get it. There are some little tips and tricks I can show you. Okay, how to hold the lighter and, and what to do that will give you a better success rate instead of you just going like this all day and not be able to get it. All right, that actually will allow you to flick it open properly, you know, and then uh, continue the trick. So anyway, uh, how you wanna start this off with the, uh, the hinge facing to your right, okay? Just like so. I'm gonna turn this a little bit so you can see how my fingers are positioned. You want to uh, bend your fingers like this, okay? Like you're making little bunny ears or something. Um, and you want to put your the, your fingers up against the uh, the back of the Zippo. In this case, it's really the front of the Zippo, but how we're looking at it, it's gonna be the back, all right? Now you bend them, and at that first knuckle, you want those both completely flush against your lighter. Then your thumb wraps around and holds the lighter on the other side. But it's very important, it just doesn't, it doesn't just hold the lighter, okay? What you want your thumb to do is you want your thumb to extend up a little bit past the lid. Okay, reason being is you want to put pressure down on that lid. Let me show you why. If your lighter is in good condition or brand new, I mean, a lot of Zippos, the, the lids get a little bit loose. That's just normal. But you see that it's usually very flush. Putting pressure with your thumb on one side of the lid skews it. Okay, it, it pushes it over to the side just a little bit, just enough to give you a little bit of a lip, okay? This is very important because when you're flicking your finger up, if it's flat, it's just gonna go flying past it, okay? But if you put pressure on the other side, giving you that little bit of a lip as something to grab onto. Hear the difference between being flat and then actually catching, all right? So if done right, while you're holding this, number two on the flat part, thumb comes around, but goes over that lid just a little, put some pressure on it. Then your ring finger is doing all the work, okay? We're not on the side of it so much as we are on the back, okay? And when you're on the back, you'll be able to kind of catch that lip a little bit. Now you will notice that my nails are a little bit longer, all right, because having a little bit longer nails, I mean, keep your nails clean if you could grow them long, but uh, it definitely gives you a little bit of an advantage to catch on to that, okay? If you have real short nails, it's gonna be a little bit harder, you're gonna to have to catch with the fat of your, your, uh, you know, your fingers, the skin as opposed to the nail. So it'll be a little bit rougher on your fingers if you don't have longer nails. But um, I just wanted to, uh, I physically grow up my nails a little bit because that's longer than I personally like them. I like them uh, pretty flush. But I figured uh, I would show you this trick anyway because it's pretty cool. This is one I did a long time ago um, when I first got into Zippo Tricks. This is one of the first ones I learned. It was part of a, a promo vid which the music from that promo vid you probably heard in this video because I, I thought it was reminiscent and it was kind of the good old days kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, the only hard part on this trick is getting a hang of actually be able to catch that lip, okay, when you're flicking it, all right? And when you're trying this, sometimes it'll open a little and not work and you get kind of frustrated. Just like any other trick, put the lighter down. You know, it's not gonna happen the very first time. You're gonna be awesome at it. It's gonna take some practice, you know. You get a slide off. Your fingers are going to get sore because you'll be pushing them against your lighter. So just take your time with it. Eventually you'll get it and uh, everything will be mighty fine, right? By the way, this Zippo is from Knife Art. As you can see, when I ordered my Sebenza, uh, I got it from Knife Art, which happens to have some awesome, awesome, um, you know, uh, custom knives there. So if you are a knife nut as well as a Zippo guy, definitely check out the website. They have some awesome knives to look at. Most of them you probably can't afford, and that's okay because you're no different than I am. 
and uh, you just you know go to the site to look at it more than you are ordering. But that's all right. So anyway, hopefully you guys get this. The Married Man. I just uh, I think it's a cooler name for it. That's all. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.